Hello guys and welcome back to another Kit Guru review. Um, I'm Schnitz and today I'm going to be taking you through the Nonda Zeus. It's spelled Z-U-S, but that's Zeus apparently. Um, new to me, I would have said Zeus if I didn't know any better. Um, so I'm going to show you what is to expect in this. Uh, first of all, it's about $49.99, but converted that's about 35 Great British Pounds. So it opens up at the bottom here, like a little leverage thing. I don't know. Um, and then this little car charger pops out. Um, let's have a look at this. Oh no, come on, there we go. Oh that's why, it's got like a little sticky pad here. So there's the car charger itself and oh just some instructions so uh, we don't need instructions. So I'll put that to one side as you can see here this is the uh, Zeus charger itself. It's a car charger, it's apparently uh, the first smart car charger. Uh, two key features are the USB ports on either side which are reversible which means you can get them in any way you want um, instead of having the old uh, doing it three times hey okay? um, and it's got a light here to show when it's charging or when it's not actually synced up so it is actually wireless and it connects to an application on your phone so uh, there's a lot of cool features this op application offers you can uh, log your business miles which I'm going to show you um, which I'm going to do. Uh, you can find your car and also send your car's location. So good example for this is if you're a parent, you can possibly drop your kids off to the cinema with the friends and uh, when they come out, there's a lot of traffic, I don't know, and you, you're like, oh, I'm parked over here. So you send them your location, they're like, oh, she's parked over there. So they come nipping over and diving your car. All sorted, non de Zeus. So we're now in my car and I'm following the instructions. I've just plugged the Zeus charger in. Uh, it says plug the Zeus charger into your car's cigarette lighter. So here we go, I'll take it like this, and I'll plug it into the cigarette lighter, it'll probably be blurry for you, there we go, it's in. Okay, now it says, the Zeus charger's light will blink, no Zeus charger was detected, I think it may be. Let's have a look, it's in, turn the engine on, it's flashing, okay, let's have a look, oh yeah, successfully connected. Right, okay, so looking at it from this point, we can see that the uh, Zeus is connecting. It says real-time car battery voltage. So we click that, and it tells you whether it's good, bad, or it needs changing, so on. Let's look at more features. So settings, let's have a look. Um, we can do family share, which shows, um, you can add family members to there. So if you're going to pick someone up and they want to know where you are, you can click the button and send it to them. Um, Let's have a look at this. So there's more information there. This is all the app, obviously. This is the mileage log. In order to meet IRS form requirements, fill in vehicle details, blah, blah, blah. So fill them in. So currently, I'm sat in a... Do, 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 do. Can I tap it? Yep. Kia Rio. Come on. Do, do, do. Kia Rio, yeah. Oh. Like this. And that was when I first had the battery. Come on, save. So now what it'll do is it'll log the miles, but this is only on the uh, the free account. So there is another where you can manage subscriptions here and get more miles, calculations, so on and so forth. So if it's for business, then that's what you're going to be using. Um, okay, so vehicle details in there. Get unlimited drives. Right, okay, so we've got that. We've got the family share, we've got the mileage log. Um, you so can take a photo of your car so it remembers where your car is. Or you can set a parking meter there, so you know when to come back to your car so you don't get a parking fine. So that's the uh, the Zeus app. Okay, so that was the basic introduction and unboxing for the Nonda Zeus Charger. Um, it was made in Germany and it has military grade titanium coating. So one thing with this military grade titanium coating is heat protection and it's durable. You can drop it and so on, it'll still be uh, tough. It may scrape and scratch but it won't do any internal damage, hopefully to uh, the, the charger itself. Um, you can log business miles, which is uh, a thing that brings it a step forward away from any of the competitors that come up with similar ideas. Um, so, biggest issue I have with it is the fact that although it is trying to be unique and it does do quite well doing that, um, if you have a brand new car within the last three years uh, or so with a smartphone device, um, mainly if you have Bluetooth in this said car, um, Google Maps does jump in and do some of the jobs for the Nonda Zeus itself. So it does tell you where you last parked your car. You can, it does offer you to take a photo. Um, I'm not sure if you can log business miles. I have checked around, but I couldn't find anything like that. Um, I'm sure it'll facilitate with something along them lines. Um, 
so you're looking more about buying this if you don't have a brand newish car that adds all these features for you. Um, another issue I had with it was you have to leave the application open in the back end of your phone. So it's not a massive issue, but it like, compensates both ends of the scale, if that makes sense. So on one end, you have to use the device to charge your phone, and then on the other end, when the application's open, it reduces battery life that little tinsy bit quicker. Um, but it does offer charging speeds of up to double to the standard to 12 volt charger in many cars. I like to say newer cars uh, actually still charge just as fast. Um, but onto that, we will test it through a boil test to uh, do durability, so I'll move on to that now. So, one of the things that the uh, non dust says it could do is uh, withstand temperatures of up to 100 degrees and still operate perfectly fine. Uh, obviously, uh, I've already described what it's made out of, so the best way I can uh, test this is to get some plastic bags, which are in my pocket, there we go, and I'm going to boil it, but I'm going to wrap it up so it's in watertight, then tie it up, um, and then uh, dip it in the uh, boiling hot saucepan and see if it still operates afterwards. I'm aware that this won't stay at 100 degrees, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the water to a boil, then uh, dip it in and leave it in there for about a minute, take it out and then see if it still operates. So uh, bear with me whilst I do this. And there's a friendly aeroplane going over there. So there we go. And now we'll leave it there and just wait till this comes to the boil. Okay, so it's actually bubbling now, but I'm going to wait till it's a bit more aggressive. Hopefully, I can turn this up. Bear with it. Right, okay, so it's actually boiling now. It's boiling through, so hopefully, this can maintain 100 degrees. Oh, so it's hot enough. Got my spoon. Do, do, do. So hopefully, if I keep this submerged for about a minute. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, it's hot, it's burning my hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hold it here for as long as I can. But it is boiling temperatures in here, as you can see, the water's boiling over. Oh gosh. Just hope it doesn't melt the bag more than anything. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that probably wasn't even close to a minute, but um, I think I was pushing it a bit there with the third degree burns. But there we go, there's that. So we'll reach into my bag. Bear with me. Reach in, reach in, reach in. It's hot. <laughs> it's very hot. It's not wet, which is uh, always a good sign. So obviously, that's been in something that's pushing nearly 100 degrees. That is absolutely scalding. Well, I wouldn't say scalding, but it's very, 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 very warm. Uncomfortably warm. Whew. There you can see, there's that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go test if it works. So we're back with the uh, Zeus, um, Zeus Super Duty cable. So Super Duty, it's in the name, and I'll tell you a few features as to why it's Super Duty. So it's got an Aramid fiber, which is uh, used in most of the space shuttle uh, cabling, apparently. And it's also got Kevlar braiding, which means it's uh, quite a tough piece of kit. Um, it comes in three different types. So you've got the uh, lightning cable, which is primarily used for Apple products, uh, the micro USB cable, and the new USB-C style cable. So um, it's got a lifetime warranty, but that is subject to use. So it does uh, boast quite a few things about uh, strength. And if you go out and test the strength, say like if you were to tow a car or, you know, glide on it or do something or climb down a tree or use it for any kind of stuff like that and I don't think they support you with a lifetime warranty but 
it's all good fun. Uh, they're about £24, it's about $29, um, and the unboxing is quite a nice little thing. So that just slides straight out here, and this opens like a book, and as you can see, it's there. I did say book, it's not book, um, but there we go. Um, let's have a look at the cable itself. As it comes straight out, they all seem like this, and they're all uh, braided. You have about 15,000 bends and scuffs until it starts to show wear, apparently, under general use. Um, it's got a 90 degree fitting there, which goes along with the uh, Zeus car charger itself. Uh, so as you saw on the uh, charger itself, it has two USB ports like that, so they clip straight in. I did try to use a standard uh, port that was just straight and I couldn't fit in my car on one side. So this puts that to use. But that also means that unless you have another 90 degree USB cable, you're going to be buying this uh, to go along with the Zeus charger. So we're here in front of the first reasonably sized car and we've got the uh, first stress test with testing on the uh, Nonda cable. Um, apparently people have towed cars with it, so I'm just gonna see if I can pull this one now. So bear with me. So we'll go for a, uh, see if we can take this plastic off here, probably about it. Um, we're gonna try and uh, use a single length of this, so we're not gonna double it up so you get the actual result, but we'll see if it can uh, manage the tow of the car. Oh God, this is heavy, this is heavy. Uh. Break! <laughs> Sound. Ouch. Ouch. And now for the second test. Oh, it can pull a car, can it? But can it be useful for other things? I know, let's... Uh... Woo! Too convenient. Pulley place. Dogs, come here, dogs. They're tied up together, and we all know how uh, pulley dogs can be. So you forget your dog lead, let's just say, and you want to take them for a walk, and they go mental. Lead the way, this way, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay, so uh, the next one was, so as you can see, this is the, uh, the charging cable here. There isn't gonna be any uh, dummies or fake wire or anything like that. Um, Anyone that's uh, been a 90s kid, or prior to that, I assume, or even a noughties kid, actually, um, can tell you that every time you see a bit of rope dangling from a tree, that it used to be a rope swing. So, um, if I can link this through on this blue bit of rope, which looks quite sketchy, to be honest with you. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Alley-oop, there we go. So there's a the blue bit of rope. So I weigh about 10 stone. It's not a lot, but you know. So I'm gonna try and swing on this now without uh, breaking my hands. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna see if we can test my weight. So can you see my feet on the camera, do you think? No, okay. So... Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's that first bit of weight. I'll let it go just in case it snapped, but it does look like it's quite sturdy to be honest with you. So, here we go again. This one's time for a swing. If I fall off, then uh, I'm going to be taking a trip to the a &E. So, uh, wish me luck. Okay, so, here we go. Do a swing. Oh, good. <laughs> so, I can take a full 10 stone. But, uh, it does have a kink in the cable now. And massive uh, dents in my hands. I probably should have used a twig. Um, I did hear something, not snap, but it went <coughs> So uh, I'll have to test see if this still works when I get back. But there we go, on to the next bit. Um, this here is the cable that was used to dangle me off the uh, bit of rope and the rope swing. Um, I've actually tried and tested it and it didn't seem to give up a good result. I'd show you on camera, but the only device I have with the, this sort of USB um, port is the camera itself, unfortunately. Um, I should have been better prepared with that. But it didn't seem to charge. Um, I think under the 10 stone uh, weight, it sort of uh, ripped the internals. Uh, so it, you can't be doing that. Um, On to this little live testing thing. Uh, a lot of people tend to rip these little corner pieces. So I'm gonna put a lot of strain on that now just for general, you know just if I just yank it about and do the 90 degree, because that's where the most issues come from. Um, obviously now it's a broken cable, it's all right, but 
they're actually quite strong considering they are 90 degrees as you can see I've put like a bit of a, a bend in there and uh, so on but um, that's, that's the, be my only issue with it I know they are 90 degree but if you're on, on the phone you're like hmm hi dad yeah yeah and then someone shouts you like I don't know your tea's ready and then you run off and it's still attached to the cable and you yank it that's uh, an issue um, I could see arising from it but uh, other than that, it's probably something I'm going to be using in my vehicle itself. Definitely these, and more than likely going to be using the, uh, the non-Zeus uh, charger itself. Um, if not, then I'll pass this over to a family member who's going to make the most of it. Um, I have a few family members who have to log the miles and so on. I'm still yet to uh, do that sort of a thing. Um, but like I say, it's competitive with Google. Um, but for a device that does that's so little, that does so much... Um, I quite liked the fact that when I opened the box, there was a little set of, ten, a set of instructions, but it pretty much directs you to the website where you just do everything yourself. You download the application, everything is straightforward. It's just, oh, do this. Didn't this work? Try this. Do this. Oh, yeah, this all worked. And it was quite snazzy. Uh, but like I say, these Kevlar cables are a winner for me. Obviously, I'm not going to use them for... Uh, dangling on uh, rope swings or anything like that. <laughs> but um, like I say, 15,000 little things before the wear and tear, that's a lot better than the average cable. And obviously with the braid in itself, you are gonna see a, a bit of uh, fabric coming off and so on, but it's not a massive issue. Um, but that's been the uh, non Zeus uh, review. I hope you liked it. I quite enjoy shooting all the uh, bits and bobs outside. And not don't usually get to go out much. <laughs> I, I do really, I'm not that sad. Um, but if you like what me and Leo do and you want to see more, then uh, please, please, please subscribe and follow for notifications. In the description below, there'll be a link to uh, the written review of this with more information that I may have missed out on this. Um, but like I say, it's going to be something I'm going to be putting into my daily life. And if not my life, then someone else's uh, daily life, i.e. a family member. Uh, it was going to make full use of it because I can see the practicalities and I quite enjoyed it. So other than that, I've been Schnitz. I'll see you later. Love you. Goodbye.